Welcome once again back to another Avionics action figure review video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell. We've got a big, big boy here to review. We've got the new NECA Mirage TMNT Eastman and Laird's Ninja Turtles Triceraton Gladiator. I found him at the Charleston Target here in Las Vegas. So there's um, a few left. So in this video, we're going to take a look at our big boy of a action figure Triceraton Gladiator. So this is the front of the box and we had the artwork down here of the gladiator using one of his weapons he is number 18 in this mirage line here is some cool artwork of our gladiator right there oh we already looked at this side number 18 the bottom the um, UPC barcode right there go ahead and take your screenshot if you will but I will include the DPCI number down in the video description below so if you're trying to hunt used this information here we go with our NECA team including Kevin Eastman working on the illustrations on the box the man himself all right the back this is what a lot, a lot of people want to see is the back so it says meanwhile and then our little comic promo shots of the uh the gladiator himself and it says to be continued we already have Baxter Stockman unless they come out with a variant and then we already have this guy out already forgot exactly his name and then, but, this is who I'm really looking forward to, is the Rat King. So, probably any week now. But let's go ahead and take this big boy out. Alright, so this is the cool looking uh, cardboard insert inside the packaging. The really cool looking artwork. Pretty dope. But, I don't plan on keeping that. But, here is the figure and all the accessories and the plastic clamshell. And here he is himself. All right, so he's all out of the packaging, including all the accessories. Let's take a look at the head. So he's only going to have one head sculpt. And this is this beautiful, beautiful, detailed, painted, black-washed head. Now, I don't have a Zog to compare him to, but it's basically the same figure from what I can see. And just without all the armor. But yeah, the detail in this is really amazing. Lots of minuscule textures going on in the head. All the teeth look to be nice and painted, even it looks all greedy and dirty like he hasn't brushed in, in uh, light years. But a nice paint in the eyes. Quality QA on this is looking pretty good so far. So he's going to come with eight total hands. So we have his right fist right here, and then he's going to have a left fist. And this hinges side to side. It's just a closed fist. He's going to come with... Now I'm confused here because... He's got two pairs of gripping hands. All right, so here's this one. So he has a right and left of this, and this one hinges, oh, actually, you know what? Oh, that's why. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so he's got this one that hinges side to side, All right? So he's got a right and left of that one, and then he has a right and left of another set, um, same sculpt and mold and grip, but this one articulates up and down, which is nice. So those are probably for the sword. So you're going to have more versatility and posing. And then his fourth set of hands, which articulates side to side. It's more of a relaxed gesture, but the detail in this looks amazing. I mean, look at that texture and all the black washers and all the crevices of the hands. It looks really good. So eight total hands. And then his carrot. He's got this huge carrot for some reason. I didn't know dinosaurs like carrots. I'm just playing. This is his tail, yo. But yeah, this thing, this thing is bendable and posable. So that's pretty cool. Um, the cartoon lines look good. And then it's going to peg into his butt right there with this peg. And then it, it has a up and down articulation. But it should be able to rotate there in his butt as well. There we go. So he has a hole there in his underwear. But yeah, this thing can bend pretty good. It's very nice and stiff, but over time it's gonna freaking loosen up. So we'll leave his tail in now. All right, moving on to his weapons. We've got this triple nunchuck. I don't know what the actual name of this three nunchakud weapon, but these, these handles are bulky, nice and bulky. It's got the brown paint even uh, the gray paint and even has this detail of the black so basically like the shadow or the shading and then real chains 
looks really good. Really, it's basically as tall as him. But yeah, so he's gonna have that. And then he has another one, a bladed kawa with, I like the, the little touch of the lines here on, on the blade itself, on a chain with a uh, triangular loose mace. So I won't say ball and chain, triangle and chain. Is that what you call it? But it's got some nice uh, detail painted on there. And then he's gonna come with two ginormous swords with like spikes on the handle. Looks really good. And it even has the beveling down the middle of the of the blade. And so the second one should be the exact same thing. Little few little paint differences or line work, as you can see there. But it looks really good. And then he has this behemoth of a uh, staff, I guess you would say. So it's a nice thick um, staff right there. And then it's got the line work and the, and the shading. And then this thing is huge. It's like a, I don't know, like some kind of shaped boulder, I guess. And then the spearhead right here. So that's a nice little detail in it all. And that's all the accessories that he comes with. Taking a closer look at the action figure, We've already gone over the beautiful head sculpt, but it looks really good. But the texturing, the, the nice line work and black wash continue on throughout the body. Real good muscle lines and everything. And real good torso work and line work right there showing shade or shadowing behind there. And then his underwear, it's all like a light gray line work. Looks good. Like I said, the, the hole for where you would peg in the tail. And then the legs. I mean, not much detail going on. Like I said, Zog without the uh, armor, really. Let's check out how this big boy articulates. So does his mouth open? It does. Oh, that's so cool. And I'm not sure if the uh, Zog did that came out last year. But taking a closer look at the uh, inside, tongue looks really good. And the inside of his mouth looks really good. But yeah, that uh, articulates up and down. His head is going to be able to move on a ball joint, go all the way around. That's as far as he can look up, as far as he can look down. And then just rotate around that ball joint. Here he is in a T-pose. Shoulders all the way around. No butterfly joints. Neko really doesn't make butterfly joints. We have a bicep cut right there. We have nice double articulation at the elbows, but it has pins. Let's show off the range. All right, so about 90 degrees. I mean, he's such a bulky figure, but that's a pretty cool flex right there. And then once again, the hands rotation all the way around. These hands in particular, side to side. Got a nice upper torso cut. And then he can ab crunch. And then back crunch. And then he does articulate side to side at the waist. Here he is doing the splits as far as he can, kicking all the way forward, and his underwear is made of soft, flexible plastic all the way back, double jointed at the knees with pins, showing off that much range of motion, and then the legs will swivel on the ball joint right there at the hip, and he's got some chonky feet here, so it's going to be able to basically on a rocker type joint and hinging back, hinging forward. He's kind of limited there. All right, time for some size and scale comparison. So here is our Triceraton Gladiator with our uh, Jim Lawson, Neca Mirage, Raphael, and Casey Jones with a Foot Soldier and a Utrom. And then here he is with Battle Damage Shredder and Baxter Stockman. So if you're trying to complete your Neca Mirage TMNT action figures, our Triceraton Gladiator, is number 18 in the line and he's going to cost $49.99 before tax. I will have the DPCI number for this big boy down in the video description below to help you guys hunt. But he is showing up in targets here in Las Vegas so I'm assuming he's going to be showing up pretty much everywhere else. If you guys enjoyed watching this review video on our NECA Triceraton Gladiator, hitting that like button would definitely help out my video. Leave all your thoughts and your comments down below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring that notifications bell to be notified of more review videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.